Hello, very, very, very small update. So let's see what's new now in system settings. We have some launcher options. Uh, if you click on this toggle, uh, you can hide the launcher or you can have it uh, always shown. Of course, you can change the icon size just like uh, in Unity 7 uh, from huge, I guess, to small. Actually, uh, I Keep the launch the icons small on my launcher because you can have you can fit have more icons uh, in the launcher if you use a small size. This is not new, but you can snap uh, the application on any of the four corners or uh, on full screen, which is nice to have. Um, what else? You can run some snaps um, this is uh, running uh, using xmir it's not native on mir um, it does run uh, quite okay it's not very apparent in this video because the way i record uh, my videos um, and there is uh, actually only one way to record the video uh, it's by using the mirror screencast that is a click tool and that is recording um, raw video and then you have to pipe uh, the output into something uh, to actually encode the video and I'm using the FFmpeg and that kills um, the FPS well, I never get a constant FPS I barely um, reach somewhere in between 9 I think and uh, maybe 15 FPS and of course that's uh, pretty not good um, because uh, people always expect uh, 60 FPS at minimum uh, videos these days so I can't uh, reach that FPS uh, I also have uh, oldish CPU and it's no way for me to record uh, uh, with a co at a constant uh, 60 FPS uh, video uh, what else I think this is the indicator panel and or however uh, it is called you can change the month and you can see some events from the calendar app you can add or uh, you can erase events the volume indicator you can change the volume um, and I think that's all uh, that's all, bye